Hello and welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the streaming module in the CWP User Panel. To access the streaming module, go to the navigation bar on this left hand side and select Streaming and then Manage. And this opens the Media Services module. In this module, you can manage different streaming services of different types, including Shoutcast or Icecast. Here you can see a detailed list with your unique identification name, services created for the user and active from the admin panel, which can be either Shoutcast or Icecast, the domain or IP, the port related to the user ID and name, the connections, the bitrate that reflects the sound quality when transmitting, and this is linked to the packages purchased for the user in the admin section, the status specifies the active service, and a variety of actions for each service, including launching the auto DJ, general information, configure options, restart the service, or stop the service. If you have many services, you can expand the table to show up to 100 entries. And if you're looking for something specific, you can search the entries by typing in the search field here. Within the table, you'll notice that the color of the status icons will match the activity that's completed. So for example, we can see this icon here, which is highlighted in blue, shows that the ice cast is online, whereas this one in red shows that the ice cast is offline. To bring this online, we can click play, and that starts the service and changes the status icon to blue. To adjust the service settings, you can click the configure icon. And this will allow you to either configure the service, view a service overview, or make changes to your auto DJ rep list. Under the services overview, we can see the address, connections, maximum listeners, bit rate, and disk use in megabytes. On the side, we have options to start, stop, or restart the auto DJ service. Under the config tab, you can name the type of service, name the server plan, set the name of the owner, set the port number that the server will run on, associate a domain for our proxy, and change the passwords for the user and admin. If you make any changes, click the update button at the bottom here. Under the auto DJ rep list tab, you'll only have this tab if the auto DJ service is installed from the administrator. Here we can create new playlists and upload audio files to our web space. To upload a track, click upload and either drag and drop or upload from your system. And you can upload these tracks to various folders and as many tracks as you want. Under setup, you can enter the name of your radio station, enter the genre of music your radio station broadcasts, Enter the URL of your radio station, choose a configuration level, choose your playlists, set your play mode, either normal or random, set your list of jingles that you wish to rotate, set your play mode, again, either normal or random, and set an audio track that will be played when the station is off due to an error. So in this case, we can choose one of the tracks that we already uploaded. If you don't choose a track, Auto DJ will generate an error. So it's important to choose a track to play when the station is offline due to an error. Then you can set your jingles programming. In this case, after one songs, the system will automatically launch four wedges. When you're done, you can save your changes. Once you save your changes, the effect is immediate and you are not required to restart Auto DJ. And that's how to use the streaming module in the CWP user panel. For more information, please refer to the following links. Thank you for using CWP.